With the International Monetary Fund or the IMF urging Pakistan to improve its revenue generation, the government is considering the potential impact of proposed measures on salaries, individuals, and key economic sectors. This comes as the government struggles to find new ways to boost income. Talks with Pakistani and IMF officials, as well as US based economists, suggest that some agreements may have been reached. These include raising the general sales tax, removing existing tax exemptions, and implying zero rates only to exported items. There's also agreement on aligning discount rates with market rate. The discount rate used in financial models like discounted cash flow analysis should reflect the market rate of return or the cost of capital. IMF officials have pointed out that when a government's debt is very high and there is no willingness to restructure it to protect creditors, as in Pakistan's case, the entire burden falls on taxpayers. A source told Dawn that even if the creditors share the burden, the government still needs to increase its tax revenue. He added that while the IMF's proposals are considered sensible, but implementing these taxes requires a strong government and without such strength, tough times lie ahead. When talks for a new extensive loan package began in April, the IMF showed its willingness to work with Pakistani authorities. However, due to doubts about Pakistan's ability to tax sectors like retail and property, the IMF insists on raising revenues through proven methods like the petroleum levy and sales tax. The IMF recognizes the instability of Pakistan's subsidy practices and insists on expanding revenue generation capabilities. Without an alternative strategy, Pakistan risks widening the gap between revenue and expenditure as subsidies funded through loans increase financial vulnerability. Protecting certain classes with undeserved subsidies and tax breaks worsens inequalities and hampers revenue generation for sustainable development. The IMF aims for a uniform tax system and an end to special treatment. Given the economic pressure, Pakistan's urgent need for the loan to prevent default is paramount. The ongoing talks between Pakistan and the IMF for a new loan package will continue beyond the budget. The IMF may push for higher income tax rates and taxes on exporters, but Pakistan resists, fearing backlash from the salary class and key sectors like agriculture and health.